What's up everyone Tech Cloud here and in this video I'm going to unbox the Nexus uh, 6P and uh, this is the 64 GB version and this is the grey color uh, model. This is the global version which has few additional LTE bands. The box has this uh, P logo which uh, suggests that this is the Nexus 6P. Anyways uh, let's open the box and uh, let's see what are the contents included in the box. It comes with this uh, grey card which has uh, P written on it and on the back of it it has uh, instructions to charge the device and how to put the nano sim inside the phone. In addition to that it comes with uh, this charger. This is the quick charger so it has a 3 ampere rating which is uh, nice. It will be able to charge your device quickly. And of course it has the type uh, C USB cable and here is the cable for that charger both end of this cable has the USB type C connector one end you can uh, connect with your device the other you can connect with the charger this is the phone itself we will look at the phone later on in addition you will get this 90 days of free Google music if you live in a country where it is applicable in addition you get uh, this uh, small booklet which includes safety plus uh, warranty information and also it has the sim removal tool as you can see over here and finally it has uh, this small uh, USB cable which you can use for data sync it has uh, type uh, C on one end and the other end is USB type B which is uh, convenient if your computer does not have any type C port so that's how the device looks like let me remove this plastic on the top you get uh, this uh, speaker as you can see over here this device has a dual front facing speaker there is uh, one speaker at the bottom as well which holds the microphone as well and uh, you get this uh, front facing camera as well on the right hand side you will get the power button and the volume rocker the power button has a slightly different texture so you can identify the power button without uh, looking at the button nice touch at the bottom you get the usb type c port on the left hand side you will uh, get this uh, nano sim slot and uh, on the top you will get 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the back uh, you will uh, find first of all this uh, fingerprint sensor and this uh, big uh, nexus logo as you can see over here and at the bottom you will uh, get this uh, Huawei logo the bottom part has a slightly different texture and feel in addition you will get this 12.3 uh, megapixel camera and the dual LED flash and the secondary microphone let me compare the size with the iPhone 6s plus and as you can see the iPhone 6s plus is a little bit uh, less uh, taller and the Nexus 6P is very slightly taller than the iPhone 6S as you can see in these shots. The thickness is uh, very similar and I don't see any difference at all. There is little bit uh, optical illusion which tells that the iPhone 6S Plus is little bit uh, thinner but that's not the case. And here you can see the width is also pretty much similar. The only difference is 0.1 millimeter. So let me power on the phone and uh, let's uh, set up the device together and uh, let's uh, check out how is the interface. I really like these uh, more LED screens. The blacks are really inky black and I really really enjoy looking at it. And this Android animation is the best ever I have seen to date. So let's set up the device. You can uh, select the language. If the phone has uh, changed the language automatically for you, better to switch uh, to your uh, preferred language. In my case, it was English, so I have selected that. You need to connect to the Wi-Fi and you need to input your uh, password. Once uh, it is connected, you will uh, see this uh, particular screen. You need to select whether you want to restore your device from an other device or uh, you just want to set it up as a new device in my case I want to set it up as a new device so I will uh, click no thanks and I will click next 
Next up, you need to input the email, your uh, Google account, and also you need to input the password as well. Once it has uh, received both, you will uh, find this screen and it is up to you totally how you set it up. Uh, in my particular case, I turn off the automatically backup uh, device data and also I turn off the help improve your Android experience. It's totally up to you. It is uh, pretty self-explanatory. You can uh, select the options you really want. And here you have uh, option to add another email if you want to. If you don't want, just uh, click not now and uh, click the next button. Here you have uh, option to set up the fingerprint or either uh, just set up the pin or you just don't want to set up anything then click no. In my case, I want to set up uh, the fingerprint just for the demonstration purpose. As you can see here, I have selected the fingerprint uh, sensor and uh, I need to input the backup pin as well. I'm uh, putting in the backup pin. If you want, you can uh, input the backup pattern as well. Here you can choose whether you want to show the notifications on the lock screen when the device is locked. So now you can uh, put your finger on the sensor, whichever uh, is uh, more convenient to you, you can uh, set it up. In my particular case, I'm doing it only for the demonstration purposes. So I'm going to use my first finger of my left hand. If you want to use another, just click the add another and you can uh, repeat this process again. Otherwise, just click next. And if you want to turn on the Google now, then you can uh, select yes and press the next button. So now the device is all configured and uh, it has uh, boot up into the main screen and here you can see it is updating all the apps in the background and also the system update is available this is how the launcher looks like pretty similar to the nexus uh, 5 and uh, nexus 6 there are not too many cosmetic changes in the marshmallow so it uh, still feels a pretty familiar operating system at the moment the device is uh, downloading the update also updating the app so it is a little bit uh, slow so let's give it uh, benefit of the doubt at the moment and we will check the performance in some other video when the device is in normal operation mode that's how the notification shared look like so once the apps have uh, updated uh, fully this is the available uh, space as you can see over here. So 2.2 GB of 53.67 uh, GB is used. This is the 64 GB version as you can see over here. And this is the Android uh, version or the build number came uh, pre-installed on the device. But as I said earlier, there is already a update available. So let's install that update. After installing the update, this is the build number. But uh, there is another update available, which is kind of a shame because uh, why it cannot uh, update the device uh, in one single time. Anyways, after the second update, this is the build number and the baseband version, the kernel version, whatever you want to see on this screen. So guys, uh, this was the unboxing and little bit uh, walkthrough of the hardware and the software of the Nexus 6P. In the coming few days, I will uh, cover this device uh, more in detail. And uh, thanks for watching the video. And if you have liked it, make sure you press the thumbs up button at the bottom of this video. Take care. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you subscribe. Take care. See you. Bye.